All right, this is weird one. Um, I haven't just like talked with the camera for a minute. Um, we're gonna do some updates here. Uh, you know, come clean about some things. Number one, um, tough one to admit. You guys uh, might have known this after years of watching the channel. And I'm just gonna be real with y'all. I, uh, I'm, 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 I'm addicted to breakdowns. I love them. It's how it goes. But besides that, yeah, there's been some changes in uh, in life, and it's kind of weird sitting here in front of a camera now without Twitch uh, shit talking me as I talk. But I'm just gonna talk. Caleb's not gonna put any meme edits on this one. Uh, we're just gonna go because there's been so much that has changed. I mean, kind of in the channel as well, but just in life over the past year. And I just want to kind of say what's been going on as well as, you know, things we're going to be doing, where we're going to be going and, and all of that. Um, to, to start off, I, uh, I had to kind of trade in my Aether bud for a hell yeah, brother. I live in America now. And that's also why I've kind of been a little like spotty and busy, especially like on Twitch, but also on YouTube. You guys have just been seeing like literally like just Twitch random just filler content that caleb's been doing claps to caleb um he's not here to put an overlay or put any speech overlay on this but he's a champion for kind of keeping the channel basically running for the first like month because i've been just moving sorting things i drove here it's like 20 hours don't do it it's long don't do it. <clears throat> don't do it in the darkness too what the fuck terrifying but you know, when it comes to that, I've lived in Canada my whole life, and I was like, look, I never had any, like, metal even opportunities related to Canada anyways. I don't have any family that lives there. All the people I work with are in America anyway. You know, like, it, it just didn't make sense me staying there. And I was fortunate enough to have an opportunity to come here. So I moved. I'm living in Florida. I, uh, you know, no, I haven't uh, bought a shotgun to go hang out on my front couch yet with. Uh, I, I haven't tamed an alligator from my local lake we'll do that this week though probably on twitch come hang out but it's it's been such a crazy journey and experience and my life has just changed so much in such a short amount of time and it's all for the good um when it came to last year i was doing so much content when it came to long form and shorts long form three days a week shorts three other days a week plus streaming five days a week and all of this which Look, I have the best job in the entire fucking world. I I know that. I would never doubt that. But I basically, at every moment, I get to a moment of burnout. I never stop. I just burn. And this is something I've talked about in my previous videos, which are more serious than me kind of just sitting here and talking without the funny Caleb edits. But it's hard. It's tough. And I think last year was probably the most intense I've ever felt it. To the point where at the end of the year, after the Nick Nocturnal Awards show, which was super fun and like, again, thank you guys all for that support. Hopefully we can do another one this year, the Sleep Token Awards. Um, I just, I needed a second. Like, I probably should have just literally took an actual break <laughs> and been like, guys, I need time. Because it's scary. Your, your brain can get to such a scary place when you're, when you just don't even know what's happening anymore in your own life and you're just going and I never want to make content or do this stuff without it being purely just like, yo, let's do fun metal things. And that's something also last year I discovered, like, what what's the point of this channel? Because I didn't know. I don't know why y'all tune in to watch me do dumb shit, <laughs> to be honest. I was I never fit in with, like, the guitarist crowd because I'm not a, it's not a guitar channel. I never fit in necessarily with just like the pure reaction metal channel. I never fit in with like the gear heads. I never really understood what we did here other than I just kind of turned the camera on and we did fun metal things. And that ironically became the actual like, I guess, catchphrase of what we do. Thanks to the sub call out. Did you know that you are know, subscribe? We do fun metal things here. And I started to realize like that's, that's what we do. That's what this channel is about. It's about just doing fun metal things. And I started to understand that just like myself, I make this content 
kind of for myself, basically, like as an outlet of just doing something fun and engaging. You know, maybe you have a long day of work or something like that, like real work, not my hilarious YouTuber job. And you just want to chill and just keep your mind off things. Maybe you had a hard day. Maybe life is, you know, a little messed up and you just need something to take your mind off of things. And that's something I realized what this channel was, was kind of a, a little safe haven for metalheads to come and just, even if I made y'all laugh for like a few minutes a day, like it just felt so fulfilling and exciting and still does. And when I was going so crazy with it and content last year, especially, I think I kind of lost the sense of like, of that, of like, why am I doing this? I'm just doing it to do it. And it was scary. And especially tied with moving and all of this, moving just was to the point where I literally had to stop <laughs> doing content and take a little break. Even though you guys still saw YouTube videos, I had to. And it's so crazy because even just that little break gave so much clarity to what we do here, what I want to do on the channel, and honestly, just continue the the specialty of doing fun metal things and exploring all of that. And with that, you know, I want to thank you guys all for the support you've given for these past. Oh my God, I've been doing this shit for almost 10 years. Fuck. <laughs> thank you guys for that. I get allowing me to do this. But I wanted to just not just say thank you guys for that, but also give you kind of an update of sure what's going on, but what I want to be doing going forward. This channel is about fun metal things. And I think that's, that's its final form. You know, I, I'm sure we will we'll evolve with the continuous memes and low tuning and vocalists getting canceled and all of that. But it's always going to be about doing fun metal things, music related in terms of breakdowns or watching stuff or discussing. That's what I want to make sure this channel keeps doing and diversifying with that. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff, I think, based on Twitch because it's also just such a weird, fun, natural medium where I feel like a lot of you guys watching even on YouTube prefer to see chat shit talk me as I talk about things and kind of give their opinion. It feels more like a conversation too than me just like sitting here and talking to the camera. And I want to continue doing more of that in the sense of seeing, you know, talk commentary, uh, you know, talking about new bangers discussion but i and, and also continuing on what we did last year which was writing songs you know doing the shorts which i want to start back up again how to in 30 seconds was so fun and the success it saw with even getting the bands themselves on the tracks that i was trying to emulate the bands for like with slaughter and suicide silence was insane like i want to continue that and again really focus on writing music making music metal heavy fun weird shit and also having the commentary side the reaction side the maybe talking about that what's happening in the news side but also because i'm going to be focusing more on let's say on the twitch aspect of that's where a lot of the content might be derived from you know which you basically saw that started that happening last year i'm also gonna have a lot more time to just think of bigger picture things like slavic metal too should have been out by now like things like that or like I've always had these really big ideas that I want to pull off, even like the Nick Nocturnal Awards show, but it just takes so much time and there's no way to balance it with the craziness of the schedule I had. So I think just finding a better balance to do all that fun shit with is really what I'm going to be focusing on. So you guys get like the really big, exciting, oh damn, Nick really went all out on this. And then just as, you know, the, the almost safety fun chill content just as the time goes by with writing stuff thrown in there and new bangers being released i think that's something i really want to continue to do and learn on and also the podcast channel in itself is a fun little side note of having just really cool metal guests on and talking with them and you know there's things i can say that we're doing for sure this year i mean you guys really made the last nick nocturnal award show successful so let's do another one i guess maybe it'll be the i don't know the bad omens award show this year or the low of the award show i don't fucking know all right vote for other things other than sleep token and with that i also have been writing an entire record before i was leaving with uh with paula you guys probably know her by now uh you know we moved here together in america and 
we are uh yeah we're finishing up the record it's a modern metal guitar focused banger uh chris turner is doing drums and we have some just crazy fun features and stuff and and, and all, well the feature i guess is just cal from valjarts are writing a few songs to it it's fun we've been working on that um you know more even stuff like graystone termina i gotta get back to it uh the the how-to metal songs like more stuff coming out with that like the architect song that we just released a disturbed one the 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 octane core song is also going to be coming out um as well as oh my god the 2000s metalcore album with phil yeah we got to figure that out man i just i've been waiting i'm sorry <laughs> there's so many songs and projects i have that just you guys haven't seen yet but i worked on maybe like three years ago and i'm just waiting <laughs> that shit's all coming out this year all right i'll be damned if it doesn't so i'm very excited because it's, it's going to be a lot of just music metal you know, and, and community feel, because that's something that I feel like is so special with what we have here, thanks to you guys, is this feels like a just metal community where we hang out, we, sh we you know, we shit talk a little, but it's all in fun, right? And we just discuss and and just hang. I, I, I don't know. It's something that feels like a very special place, especially like while we're streaming on Twitch, but also just the YouTube aspect of it itself that I want to keep that going and I never want this channel to be anything other than a community feeling thing, you know, and I'm very excited for that. I'm super stoked for this year. Uh, I'm still kind of doing a little bit of admin stuff with, you know, there's a lot of paperwork and stuff that comes with moving a whole fucking country. You think Canada and the U S would have more things than similar. No, they don't. Everything's separate. So bear with me a little bit as I get that sorted. But within the next couple of weeks, we should be able to go kind of like full throttle forward and get stuff done there's a few other things you know that have happened in the six months too that i don't really want to like delve super into um i will say a lot of you guys that support core kid and all that stuff um there is going to be a new core kid store i'm stoked it's going to be great the designs are going to be super sick too i'm very excited about that as well as just like you know changes but not like these drastic crazy changes i think it's just taking a lot of learning from last year building upon it and doing the funnest metal shit we could possibly do on this channel. So thank you guys. And, uh, I don't know. Dun, dun, dun. What the fuck do I say? I don't know. I don't have Caleb to edit something funny here. So I'm just going to just cut to black right 